Hello, my name is Sonja Lugis and this is a video about how my department for precision oncology was established, how we integrate genomic testing and how we interact with our patients and with patient representatives. I established my department for precision oncology in 2020 when I moved from Hamburg where I had already headed a precision oncology department starting in 2015 to uh, Mannheim and Heidelberg. And the key considerations were to have a truly multidisciplinary molecular tumor board, to have a dedicated outpatient service to be also reached and reachable and accessible for the outpatient private practice based colleagues and in addition also to build up structures to the German Cancer Research Center where the translational research that is being done in my division there um, is conducted. We um, integrate genomic testing at all levels um, of cancer care. So we do panel-based diagnostics um, upfront in some entities um, where there are approved therapies. Plus we do genomic testing in all patients with solid tumors who are in the pre-last line of their therapy. We also have the possibility to add um, genomic uh, sequencing at, at the exome level um, to complement the panel-based diagnostics and to develop uh, insights about um, which patient populations might benefit from a broader testing um, via um, exomic sequencing. We have very strong links with research services because um, I'm a clinician heading the Precision Oncology Department um, at the University Medical Center Mannheim and I'm also a division head at the German Cancer Research Center, which is one of the top tier international cancer research centers. So we ourselves are investing heavily in biomarker diagnostics, focusing on multi-omic tools, including spatial RNA-seq um, and liquid biopsy technologies linked with AI tools and structural biology. And we are really trying to push the diagnostics also to the next level. It's a truly multidisciplinary approach and we involve molecular pathologists, bioinformaticians and even clinical chemists on a day-to-day -day basis uh, because we have really an integrated molecular tumor board. We are interacting with patient advocates, patient representatives and patient experts in order to um, really learn from them how they experience precision oncology, what are their expectations, what is the patient-friendly language um, that is necessary. And we are also addressing issues um, that we are facing. For example, one precision oncology drug was just recently withdrawn from the German market and we are trying to tackle this situation together with patient experts. Mm -hmm.